We are in Ageo Saitama at the Ario Mall, where the game center has a real full-size Luigi's Mansion arcade machine. Let's take a look. Let's play. So I'm back home now. I had to record the voice part at home because there was just so much trouble at the arcade. I managed to fit a full-size tripod into the machine, but it caused a lot of attention. There's also a back window, which caused a lot of glare. I tried to cover it up with a blanket, and the arcade staff told me that I couldn't do that because it looked like the game was out of order. So I had to take it off. As well, while I was playing, a lot of people were sticking their heads in and wanted to see what was going on because I had a tripod, a camera, and a microphone. And uh, it just caused a lot of trouble, so it's just easier to give the commentary here. Anyway, you can see that I am going to translate a lot of the information that's on the screen. The game has a lot of Japanese text, and I thought I would provide a translation. Basically, there are two options at the beginning, the easy and the medium, and I highly recommend taking the easy first because it comes with a tutorial, as you can see, and the tutorial is what we're going to try first. If you're putting in 200 yen or so for each game, then the tutorial kind of gives you a little more value for your money. Uh, you get to play a little bit of extra time and get to learn the game right before you jump in. So as you can see, you've got your own Poltergust machine there, and it, it's a little walkthrough to teach you how to use it. Uh, the top button is the straw bulb, and the bottom button, the lever, the handle, whatever they call it, is uh, to suck things up. So at this point, uh, we're just blasting a few enemies and learning how to suck up coins. One really cool thing is that the Poltergust has some kind of sensor, some kind of rumble thing inside. Uh, that when you suck up a coin, it makes a little chunk sound, and it feels like you're really collecting it. So you've got this meter, and for these first few enemies, the meter doesn't fully charge by the time that their energy runs out and you can suck them in, but some of the later enemies that have a higher hit point count, uh, they definitely need two or three blasts for it. Now we're showing how to use the dark light to find a hidden door. Tutorial's finished, and we're moving on to the first stage, Gloomy Manor. Hello. So here we are in the entranceway, and uh, it starts out pretty slow, 
and it gets a lot more intense as you go along. Okay, so this enemy has a shield and a little bit higher uh, hit points, and so that uh, that makes it a lot more difficult to defeat. But you'll you'll find a weak spot, and then you can, you can easily blast them as you see here. So as you can see, they talk about using the bombs, which is the one or two player start button on the console in front of you. And you get two. Uh, but you can, if you line it up correctly, you can blast a few uh, and take them out in one hit. Okay, so here comes one of the really strong enemies. Like I said, it takes two or three or four pulls uh, to get at him, to suck him up. Each pull takes about, I guess, uh, three, four, or five uh, hit points, depending. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this room, you can see, but uh, the first time you go through, uh, you're just so overwhelmed by what's happening, it's hard to take notice of it. And as you can see, I just died. I went to reach for the, the bomb and the one player start button, and I just missed it. And uh, you can see the counter was moving a little faster because I was hitting, hitting it. Okay, so now here are the results. Uh, you've got your stage name, your score, uh, all of the items that you picked up, the number of ghosts, and a ranking as well. And then there's, they call it the high score, but I think it's for total for the game, actually, is a better way to say, and I didn't even make the rank. Okay, so now we're going to try the second stage, the old clockworks. It's a little more difficult, and there's no tutorial on this one, so we just go straight on into the game. So the ghost took off with the propeller part of the, uh, of the clock, I guess, and we're off to find it, uh, but I don't even make it this far. The second stage is pretty tough, and you get hit with a lot of strong enemies right away.
So there you can see you got a lot of strong enemies. Uh, they're shielded up a little bit, and they're all attacking you at once. It's giving me a lot of damage really quick. And especially for the red ones, the slammers, you have to hit them several times. You can't get them all in one hit. And that gives a chance for the greenies to attack. And then you've got a second one up here, which is also tough. And there you go, you're over. Uh, but you know, it is a very fun game. Uh, if you played the GameCube version or the 3DS uh, Dark Moon, I think you'll enjoy it very much. But you have to remember, it is an arcade game, and the goal of an arcade game is to take your money. So it is a little difficult, and it is intended to put several coins in there to play through. Hope you enjoyed this little run through of Luigi's Mansion Arcade, which is available now in Japan. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.